Hey, real quick, add this to your calendar. Wednesday, 4 p.m. Pacific Time, 7 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. We're going to have Neil Lassen on our little call-in show, me and RJ. So we're going to interview him, talk to him about some of the new modules on Merchant Former, how you guys can use those to make more money, especially with trends, especially with holiday trends. And it might be an opportunity for us to get some questions in. So if you guys have some questions on how to improve your merch business, you should probably get them ready. Again, Wednesday, 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern, uh, Neil Lassen on our call-in show. All right, check it out. Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick video about keyword tools. Um, some of them are going to be free. There is going to be one paid tool that's in here. This is just to give you guys some ideas of all of the different variety of options you have to come up with keywords, especially to come up with keywords that might be a little bit different than the competition. Um, name of the game is you have to find something that's going to make your shirt stand out, something that's going to make your shirt different than the rest of the competition out there. You want to make something that is not going to line up with everything else that's out there. So something that we learned with Halloween, we had a couple of shirts that did okay. None of our shirts really did great. And I really, really attribute that to the fact that while our shirts were good and I thought that the designs were good, unfortunately, they kind of fell within a lot of the niches that other people were doing. So a lot of our designs, quite frankly, look similar to a lot of the other designs that are out there. I think that's something that's true of a lot of people that are out there that did a bunch of Halloween designs and were kind of disappointed with their results. You know, 2020 hindsight, when we go back and look at it, I feel like that's something that we probably need to look at and do a little bit better, which is make sure that our designs stand out and are different from everybody else's. So different keywords, different styles of design, um, different layouts, everything else. So something to keep in mind as we come into the major holidays that are coming up, this is why I decided that we're going to look at Thanksgiving keywords for this video. It's something that's coming up for you guys. It may help you out. It may give you guys some ideas. So the first tool that we're going to look at is the scientific seller keyword tool. And this thing is really cool. Um, what it does is it basically takes tons and tons and tons of keywords and matches them up versus Amazon and tries to come up with unique keyword ideas. And the way that it does it, it actually does it really, really slow. Um, which is the opposite of what you would think you would want. But what you do is you kind of set it off in the background and it just kind of slowly but surely works, it way, works its way through Amazon and looks for unique, unique keyword ideas. So as you can see right now, we're sorting this by what the most popular ones are. Um, one thing I noticed right off the bat is right here, all of these different t-shirt ones right here. Um, that tells you that there is a lot of t-shirts that are being generated right now, probably by the merch community for Thanksgiving. It's going to be fairly competitive. So we need to do things that are going to stand out. Um, I'm a big fan of this keyword tool. It is something that you just kind of set, get an idea, and look through it for things that might give you ideas, both for designs and also for keywords for your shirts. The next one we're going to look at, this one's a little bit different. This one's called TwinWord. Um, this one you can only use three times a day without having to pay for it. However, I like it because it has a couple of different features that allow you to maybe have some different ideas. This right here is the trending tab for Thanksgiving. Um, what it does, it looks for trending keywords across, I believe it's Twitter and a couple of different things. And then it puts it off in this visual representation to kind of give you an idea, a different way of looking at keywords, to look at different things. Some of them obviously aren't going to apply to shirts, Fox Sports. I don't think we're doing Thanksgiving with Fox Sports in it. Um, but, you know, there are some other things out there that might possibly, I'm not sure why Jen is there for Thanksgiving. So, again, it's a visual representation that's going to give you a different idea, possibly, for keywords. Might spark some ideas, might give you some different ideas um, to put in some unique keywords that might help your shirt to take off and stand out. The next one here, this one is LSI graph, so Latin Semantic Indexing. This is a um, basically a machine learning tool that spits out keywords. Um, I just threw in Thanksgiving, and you're seeing, again, lots of different keywords. And the reason that I have all of these different keyword tools up is they're all going to generate different results. So where we should be looking for is things that... <clears throat> are different in all of them, and maybe we can find a way to uniquely put those together to give ourselves some unique long tail keywords. Um, because if you just have Thanksgiving shirt and basic Thanksgiving keywords in your listings, you're gonna be lumped together with everybody else in that Thanksgiving niche, and you're never gonna get an opportunity to have your shirt stand out. Unless you have a really, really amazing design and a different 
um, tweak on something, but it's hard to do that. So first Thanksgiving facts, you know, and something else I was thinking about too is this is a great way to come up with ideas for different shirts. So everybody's going to be doing a turkey face shirt or, you know, a little pilgrim or stuff like that. Like this might give you an idea for some different shirts you can make. This is a tool I've talked about before. I believe I talked about it in our first um, listing video. It's a tool that I like a lot. It's sonartool.com. Um, so Thanksgiving, and we see frequent words in here. This is generally where I go if I'm looking to do listings and do keywords. Um, first Thanksgiving is going to be a big one. You can tell based by the, um, the colors here that these are ones that are popular. So Thanksgiving Day, My First, all of these things. Um, it's a really good tool. I use this tool all the time if I'm stumped on coming up with keywords for a particular niche. So this tool is called Related Words. Um, and what you do is you put in whatever your keyword is, and then it puts up a bunch of different words that are associated with Thanksgiving. And you can see it's kind of in like a word block here, and you can sort through it, look for it. Um, I believe when you click on it, yeah. So you can click on it, and you can actually pull up related words to the different ones here. Um, again, a different way to break yourself out of whatever the standard keywords are that you're using to give yourself some different ideas. This one here. So, um, I actually should probably do this. So, here's the other thing, guys. Sometimes you just go to Google. Like, just throw your keywords into Google and see what pops up. So, um, this one here, I just happened to put in Thanksgiving keywords, and it brings up this Thanksgiving SEO free keyword list. Um, I haven't vetted these. It was just an idea. I just had something to throw out there. But again, it's an idea for some different keyword ideas, hopefully, something to give you an idea for how to make some different shirts, how to come up with some different keywords for your listing. And then when we come into here, Thanksgiving vocabulary words. So this is actually more related to, I believe, to lessons plans for teachers. However, again, these are all different Thanksgiving things that probably would apply to some shirts um, that you can come up with. Something that, you know, squash, settlers, all of this stuff. Like these are ideas that will apply to shirts you can have in the niche right now. So last keyword tool we're going to go to is something that's called Keyword Tool Dominator. This is actually a paid tool. I'm not sure what it costs. Um, I actually have a friend that lets me use his. He does uh, private label listings. Um, so if you're interested in investing some money in it, I think it's okay. I don't think it's great um, for shirts. However, the one thing that is nice is what it does do is it does give you some keyword data in terms of where these keywords actually rank on Amazon, so how important they are. So rank from one all the way down to 10, one being the best, 10 being the worst. Um, so if you do have access to the tool, um, I believe you can actually use it for free too. You get like a certain number of, of searches a day for free. Um, so it might be something that you want to throw out there, you know, every day to use a couple of different tools just to give, your, give yourself an idea what keywords are going to rank and where you should possibly be looking for them. Um, so, but to finish it off, um, I'm going to show you guys, that's not what I wanted. Here's where I actually do a lot of keyword research too. Um, so what I did is I came into inc incognito mode in Chrome. Um, if you don't know how to get to that, just click on this little thing here and go there. Um, that'll open it up. What this does is it removes the caged um, and cookies that Amazon does for you when you're searching for stuff so you get clean results. And then I just come here and I have a um, extension that's loaded right now. It's called DS Quick View. And what it does, it really quickly pulls up BSR and tells you who the sellers are. So we can tell quickly who is doing merch shirts and who is like FBA shirts. So this is an FBA shirt here. You don't see this sold by Amazon right there. Um, sold by Amazon is what tells you that it's a merch seller. And then what I do is I pull up all of the different merch shirts that I see that have a good BSR. And I look to see what their keywords are. Um, if you notice, this has really, really basic keywords. Fall season t-shirt to express your gratitude and happiness. Get this cute, trendy design for your mom, aunt, grandma, favorite woman, all this stuff. This is a little spammy here. Um, I would be a little bit worried about it just in the sense that Amazon seems to be cutting down on some of this stuff. Um, but you can notice that like their keywords are super basic. 
I see a lot of people talking about some of these posts or some of these listings that are just totally keyword stuff, like nothing applicable. They have tons and tons of terms there. Um, the BSR on this shirt here is 87K. Um, I want to say a couple days ago when I was looking at it, it was at like 30K. Like the shirt is selling really, really well. Um, and it's doing exactly what Amazon says to do, which is um, short bullet points kind of to the point. Not a huge fan of this right here, but it's also kind of, like I said, again, fairly short. Um, the way that I view it is having less keywords in your listing make your, makes your shirt rank, provided that it converts and it sells, more applicable for those keywords. Um, so you're basically taking whatever rank juice that you have, so however much ranking power that you have in the shirt, and you're applying it across just a few keywords versus across like 30 or 40 different keywords that some of these people are doing in their listings. We're going to see different, different examples, though, in some of these other ones that are selling. So turkey face shirts. Um, you're going to see a lot of these on Merch Informer guaranteed within the next couple days, guys. This is um, a design that's selling really well. So if this is your shirt, uh, I mean, people probably have already started to do it, but it's going to show up a lot. Um, so turkey face shirt is probably the most important keyword here. Um, you see he's repeated it throughout his brand name, his title, and also here. I actually, from what I understand and from everything that I've read, studied, this is unnecessary. You're actually wasting keywords here by putting in all three. It doesn't make it any more applicable. Um, you just need to mention it once, and the most important place, place to mention it, right here in the title. Um, so, thankful and blessed. Um, Again, super basic, not super long. This shirt is ranking at eh, 300K. Another turkey face shirt. You can see this one, it is a little bit more along the lines of what we do in terms of keywords. Um, I don't really do this necessarily, um, but fun Thanksgiving shirt, all this stuff is good. And I want you guys to look at, too, just when you're thinking about how many keywords to put in this. Like, Amazon wants these things to be readable, um, something to quickly be scanned. I can't read this at all. Um, it's a lot. Also, this baby shirts available thing here, like, that's a recipe for your shirt to get delisted really, really quickly. They don't offer baby shirts. They offer um, youth sizing. They don't offer baby shirts. So one of the things that I notice across the shirts that I've pulled up here, this is 72K BSR. Um, there seems to be a trend, at least from what I'm seeing on these shirts, where less keywords are more, and it might just be a small sample size. Um, but I really do kind of believe that's the way to go in terms of going in the future, how many keywords you want to apply, how many you want to stick into your listing. I think that you don't want to be doing this. I think it's just a bad experience for the customer that Amazon is going to definitely start to correct that. They're going to start favoring shirts that don't do this kind of stuff. Um, they want short fragments, not keywords stuffed into um, the listing. By Amazon's definition, this isn't keyword stuffing. It's all related to Thanksgiving. Um, football shirt here might be a little bit um, football party supplies. Eh, never mind. They are keyword stuffing. So they want them to all be on their listing. However, like this is just a bad experience for the customer. It's not something that Amazon wants to see long term. You know, run your business however you want. And it certainly appears to be working right now. Um, you can rank this way by doing this. However, my philosophy has always been this is a long-term business for us, so I want to be doing things in the terms that Amazon says are the best overall for their customer and what they want to see, because my philosophy um, is that I don't want to do anything that impacts my account. I don't want to have to go back and edit you know, over a thousand listings to make the listings uh, compliant with what Amazon wants. I already had to do that once this year because we had some listings that um, technically were okay by Amazon in the beginning. We had like super soft shirt in some of our listings. Um, however, you could see that by the number of rejections that happened when Amazon updated their TOS, 
Amazon is gradually going through and updating their TOS to make it more and more in line with the things that they want. And they're going through in listings that were okay at one point, suddenly are getting rejections and being delisted because they've updated their TOS. It's a pain in the ass to have to do edits on Amazon, like there's no bulk edit feature. So I want to make sure my listings are as compliant right now so I don't have to go back for, back, and have to edit all the listings some point in the future. So again, you know, super basic listing. Um, fall t-shirt to express your gratitude and happiness. You know, this one is 32K overall. Um, so you don't need to shove in all of the different keywords on, into your listing to get these things to rank. Um, this thing ranks just fine how it is, super basic. It's not using a bunch of different keywords um, to get there. Their keywords they're using are all applicable to what the listing is like to me this is what you want to be doing so hope that helped um, i'm going to include links in the um, description for all of those different keyword tools um, hopefully youtube doesn't delist the video like they did the last one that i did with links into it uh, maybe what i'll do is actually just include the links on a google sheet and you can click through to the google sheet um, but if you have any questions please leave them please share this if it helps you um, subscribe to our channel. Um, I'd like to continue to grow our channel. And then in the comments, leave any questions you guys have. Let me know if there's anything that you guys want to see. I know I've heard a lot of requests for trending videos. The problem with trending videos is my process is not something that is necessarily concrete or replicable. Um, what I do is basically I just look at a lot of stuff. So I look at Twitter. I look at the um, search bar and the explore tab in Instagram. I look at Reddit and I try and take all of that stuff and see what is happening right now and then throw out shirts that I think might take off. So one here, one here, one here. And then when I see a shirt start to do that, then we double down really, really hard on that shirt. So if I see a shirt that sells two, three copies right off the bat, we're going to go all in on that shirt and we're going to make as many variations, as many different styles in that particular niche. That's our philosophy for trending. However, trying to explain that in a video, how to how to do that, is not necessarily the easiest thing for me. Um, so I know a lot of people have asked for that. It, I just don't feel like it's something I can teach you guys right now. And until I have a system that I can teach you, I don't feel comfortable making a video about it. Um, but if there are other videos you guys want to see, maybe design videos. Um, I've talked about that with my wife, about maybe going over some designs and you know, basically pointing out things that we feel like are good in design and things that are bad in design to help you guys kind of tighten up some of your designs. So that's an idea too. So thank you for watching. I hope this helps you guys. And again, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. Thanks. One last thing. Just want to give a quick shout out to $5 Merch. Um, this is my boy Dean's site. I'm not getting paid any money on it. I just uh, thought I'd give him a little shout out because Dean's a solid guy. He's really helped me out in the past. And it's right on the ground floor. So it's an opportunity for you guys to fill up some of your slots at a pretty reasonable price. Um, it includes designs plus keywords to use with the designs. Um, there are two different price points. A $5 design is a text only or single color design. A $9 design is something with multiple colors. Um, so it's a chance for you guys if you want to buy some stuff or buy stuff in bundles to just take care of it, not have to go through Fiverr, not have to go through designers that you don't know do quality work. Um, Dean's a stand-up guy, and I've seen some of the designs. They're really good. So check it out.